Hello, beautiful family, lovers of good things, lovers of beautiful things all over the globe. I bring greetings from a grateful heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. Thank you so dearly for always tuning into this platform. I really do appreciate. Please do it to like our video, share, and subscribe. Today, I have a wonderful one that I want us to watch, and I will be watching it with you. Sit back, watch it, and I'll be right back. This is so much good writers reaching your life from the appeal court. The court proceedings is over and currently, according to the presiding justice, the date for the judgment will be communicated to them in a short time. Have traditional rulers from Ibeku are here all the way. There's a I'm waiting for the lawyer of Mazen Namdekani to come out and address the press. We are still watching live with so much good writers at our Peacock, Abuja. We are the hearing of uh, self execution as filed by the federal government to the Ministry of Justice. It's being heard today. So, the learners seek. Chief Mike Ozokama is here and he will be br uh, briefing the press along the traditional ruler. Response to the application by the federal government. Especially when they said that uh, releasing him from the national security yes. security institution in the southeast. All you have to say about that. Yeah, they, started, they, started, they started the case of Asari Dokubo, which is not relevant, which was an application for the forces for the time. And the federal government said the right of one individual cannot do that. 
this is not the case here. This copy of P has already found that the lower court was wrong in retaining seven out of the 15 count charge. And so this court also dismissed the remaining uh, several counts and said, now the canon is discharged. Discharged means you have no case against you. A very responsible government, what you will do is to let that young man go home, particularly as we have shown in our affidavit evidence and document that is gravely ill, have a heart condition, which a specialist doctor has said needs an urgent surgery. But they have no answer to his medical condition. What they are doing when they feel that his potassium level is too high, they either increase the dosage or decrease it. So they are just using now the canon as a guinea pig trial by error. So we re responded that there is no question of saying releasing in the canoe will bring unrest in the southeast. As a matter of fact, it is the release of in the canoe that will breed, bring about peace and tranquility, not only in the southeast, but in the entire country. And I gave the court the example. When the court made its judgment or pronounced its judgment on the 13th of this month, the entire Southeast went wild with jubilation. They were drinking, eating, dining, and, 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 and dancing on the streets. For the next three days, four days, five days, from Uwere to Abasi, from Umwanya to Inugu, from Onicha to Abagana, from Umuchi, Ekulobia, and Mesi Uga, to Njikoka, from Abakariki to Inugu, from Potakot to Abba, every, everywhere. Steve-Ops are happy and they are looking forward to this journey that when Plan the Cano is released, there will be peace in the Southeast. 2023 elections will come very well. I thought, I do not know who advises this government. If I were the advisor, I would say, sir, Mr. President, let my people go. And we do not the Cano leaving. Prisons. Don't forget, any day they hold him further from 13th of October is illegal detention. We are already going to court with the fundamental rights enforcement matter. So it is releasing in the canoe that will bring about peace and tranquility, not detaining him. And we have also argued that the court cannot stay the liberty of the citizen. That was why we started the case of Gloria Mowari versus Nigerian Army. Mr. Gakoba is here, my good friend, and do that matter. I was detained with Mr. Gakoba over that of April 1990. We were detained at Child Avenue by the DMI in Napapa, near a toilet, with soak away, with maggots and human feces coming out so as to punish her. And in that case, Gloria Mowari was seven months pregnant. She miscarried because of the traumatic and, and, and the trauma, the trauma, the ordeal, psychological, mental, physical that she went through. And when they went to court, the court said they should release her because she was discharged. Just as soon as the canoe was discharged here, what did they do? The federal government filed an appeal in that case against a woman who was detained under the Queen of Batu, under IBB, when the military was the military. And then they also filed a motion for state of execution. Two justices pronounced that we are very hard for the federal government. Justice Atul Kargo, who later was elevated to the Supreme Court, and Justice Konawole, Oolandi Konawole. They said, you are asking the court to stay execution. It's like asking the court to stay execution of the liberty of the citizen. That you are a contender. And being a contender, you are slapping us on the face by telling us to stay the execution. Do you know how they put it? You see, it is like a sinner telling God that, look, God, I know I am sinning, but please help me. Aid me to continue to sin. He said, even God will not grant that sinner's request. He said, in that same vein, we will not grant this request. This was the same court of appeal sitting in Lagos. And we are talking of as far back as 1992. What has changed? Ujuku and governor of Lagos State? It's clear. Governor of Lagos State versus Ujuku, both the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court, they made it clear 
that you can't be in contempt of a court procedure and come before us again asking for an equitable remedy because a, 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 a state of execution is an equitable remedy which is based solely on the discretion of the court. He who comes to equity must come with clear hands and he who comes to equity must do equity. You have not done equity. You are coming with soiled hands. That was why the Supreme Court and God of Abyss said, you have thrown Ojukum out of his Velasca Lodge at Queen's Drive, Ikoyi. Ayo, we told you, take him back. You refuse to take him back, yet you are coming before us to ask for a stay of execution. We will not grant it. We have cited all these cases to show that even the point they were hap uh, happy on, that in the show we we have shown through the exhibits that we are attached. Nabikano never jumped bail. He was granted bail and he was enjoying the bail. And the case was again to come up in October 2017. <coughs> then suddenly, 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 like Fela will put it in one of his uh, epic songs, the federal government threw operation Python on the 14th of September 2017, invaded ferociously with a multitude of army, the ancestral home of Unambi Kanu, with his father, Eze Kanu, also there. In that brutal invasion, 28 unarmed and innocent Nigerians were hacked down in cold blood. We have put all of them. That was how Unambi Kanu managed to escape. A person escaping for his dear life cannot be said to, a person, to be a person jumping bay. You jump bay when you voluntarily run away. But this was a man not not running away, but jump, not jumping bay, but running away for his dear life. And as soon as he got to Israel, he deposed an affidavit and reported the matter to the African Commission on Human and People's Rights, which wrote to the federal government. We executed it. Don't forget that on the 20th of July this year, the United Nations Working Group against arbitrary detention delivered the ruling after giving the federal government and the government of Kenya a fair hearing on the extra judicial, uh, uh, judicial rendition of, and extraordinary rendition of Kingdom the Kano on the 26th of June 2021 after he was accosted, blindfolded, brutally tortured on the 19th, between 19th and 26th for about eight good days in Kenya. A, a private jet was working. They went around the, um, uh, uh, the security agency, the immigration. They didn't pass through. They forcefully rendered him back to Nigeria. And the law is that when you do that without going through um, um, extradition proceedings, you cannot try the person. And this court, court of appeal, so far. The second one is what we call the doctrine of specialty, which this court also agree with that. Even if in the canoe were to be brought in properly through a proper and lawful um, extradition no. procedures, you can only try him for the offense you are bringing him back, not for any pre existing offense, including the five count charge that was earlier existing, which they amended to seven counts, which they later amended to 15 counts. For your information, the federal government has amended the canoe's charge seven times, but they have never been ready. With the prosecuting the matter, they are happy just keeping him. So, the, the, this court said you can't, you can't try him on those same charges. And the lower court was right, Josephine Tanyako, she struck out eight of the 15 counts. We were not satisfied. We came before this court, and this same court also struck out the remaining seven counts. And this charge, you know, the Supreme Court has said that this charge in such a matter, in such a case also means an acquitter. So now they cannot have it acquitted. You, because they can, you know, like this court said, you can never try now the canon on those offenses before he ran away for the dear life. So what is it that we bring peace? Releasing now the canon. The medical doctors with DSS, the federal government doctor, have no answer to now the canon's heart. Amen. He suffers depleting potassium, all they will do at times, they come and increase dosage. They will lower the dosage. They are using now the canoe as we submitted today as a guinea pig without knowing what is wrong with them. Now, 
they have refused a second opinion from a specialist doctor, as Joseph B. Tanyako ordered. Now, you should allow a specialist doctor to come in. All the applications we have made to the DSS or the SSS to allow Nadikam, they have rejected them. But the specialist doctor's opinion, we were able to get it and we have attached it also as an exhibit that even the canon is not released immediately. He may die in their hands and in the prison. If they want to know what will really cause Rohaha, Rokus, and Wahala, it is keeping now the canon and allowing him to die, for example, in a detention. Dead men don't stand trial. Sick men are even given medical treatment to ensure that they are fit and strong to start trial. That is why we say, come and stand trial. Have you ever had somebody say, come and sit down trial? Have you ever had somebody say, come and prostrate trial? Have you ever had somebody say, come and, uh, come and, come and kneel down or come and lie down trial? No. It is come and stand trial. It is taking that you are strong enough to be able to stand through that trial. So I am here begging the federal government, the president, look at my news. Genuflectingly, genuflectingly, in the name of Almighty God and in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to please, and in the name of peace and tranquility, and in the name of social justice, equity, egalitarianism, and good conscience, and in the name of respect for due process, respect for human rights, and rule of law, I am begging genuflectingly, Mr. President, sir, Ignore any what advice you are being given by whosoever to release the the canon, and you will be pleased. History will record you justly. That you decided after the court had delivered the judgment, even though you failed to follow the political solution, and even the window of opportunity given by the United Nations Working Group against arbitrary detention, rendered on the 20th of July. 2022, that you releasing now the canoe and also paying compensation, even though all these have failed. Mr. President, sir, it is never too late. Now a court has pronounced judgment. Obey the judgment. Don't steal the execution or the liberty of your own citizen, your father of all. God bless you, Mr. President. God bless my children. Thank you so much. So as it is right now, today's court proceedings are over, and uh, we will be proceeding more to get more interviews, and uh, we have the traditional rulers here from all the way from Abia State, all the way from Abia State. So. We can let us see if we can get one or two interviews from them as well. Thank you very much. For now, we'll be coming back to your life once more. This is Omochupo writers still coming to you vibrantly. Thank you. people that bring us to the end of this update do where to like this video share and subscribe if you haven't subscription is free please smash on that subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates see you when i see you for me to you from here i said bye